الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى says فويل للمصلين so Imam Fuzan حفظ الله تعالى he mentions that this is the fourth characteristic الصفة الرابعة تهونه في الصلاة so this is the fourth characteristic and this is laziness with regard to the prayer and then he describes who these people are. وَهُمَ الَّذِينَ يَتَحَوَّنُونَ فِي الصَّلَاةِ فَهُمْ يُصَلُّونَ لِذَلِكَ سَمَّاهُمَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى مُصَلِّينَ وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ لَا يُصَلُّونَ فَهَوْلَاءِ كُفَّارَ وَإِنَّمَا هَذَا يُصَلِّي وَلَكِنَّهُ لَا يُصَلِّي الصَّلَاةِ الْمَطْلُوبَةِ وَالْوَاجِبَةِ عَلَيْهِ وَإِنَّمَا يُصَلِّيهَا شَكْلٍ وَلَا حَكِيكَة Sheikh Salim al he talks about the fourth characteristics. He said that this fourth characteristic is being laziness with regards to the Salat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَوَيْلُ لِلْمُصَلِينَ Woe to those who pray. And the Sheikh mentions, he says, and they are those who are lazy with regards to the prayer. And so they, they pray. And for this reason, Allah the Almighty has called them and labeled them people who pray as for those who do not pray then they are disbelievers and he said and and this one this one who has its characteristic that they pray however they do not pray the prayer which is required of them the prayer which is an obligation upon them and they pray it only in its uh, in form not in reality. So they're not giving the full haqqa prayer. They're just praying in shekel, in, in form. And then he says, وَإِذَا كَانَ هَذَا الْوَعِيدِ فِي حَقَّ الَّذِينَ يُصَلُّونَ وَلَكِنَّهُمْ لَا يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى صِفَةَ الْمَشْرُوعَ فَكَيْفَ بِالَّذِينَ لَا يُصَلُّونَ أَصْلًا وَلَا يَعْرَفُونَ الصَّلَاةِ He said, then, he said, if this is the case with the person, who prays, these people who pray, that they have this very severe uh, threat of punishment. However, they pray, but they don't pray in, in the way in which uh, it is legislated. So then how about the one who doesn't pray at all? And they don't even know uh, prayer or salat. And then he says, الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ Those who are careless or lazy with regards to their, their prayer. The shaykh says, this person enters into the prayer and they don't even know what they've said. They don't know what they've done. That's because they're busy with the dunya. They're busy with these worldly affairs. And they're busy with their thoughts. So their heart is not present. And also they have no la yakhsha qalbuhu fi salat. His heart is not, doesn't have the fear and the, and the humility during the prayer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ أَفْلَهَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ in Surah Al-Mu'minun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the, uh, the believers are successful. قَدْ أَفْلَهَ الْمُؤْمِنُون And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes who those successful believers are. أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Those who, who, during their prayer, they have this humility and God-fearfulness. They fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're busy with their humility before their Lord. And how many of us can say that we contain that characteristic? Well, Allah understand. Even if the person is a student of knowledge, but it's only those who are really practicing what they preach and practicing what they've learned who are really fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us of our many sins and our many distractions during the prayer. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Then the Shaykh said, Furu'a salat huwa al-khushu'a. وخضوع لله 
subhanahu wa ta'ala wa hawla la yakhshun la yakhshun fi salatihim wa huwa sahu an dhalik ghafil anhu la yusallun fi alwaqt bil yuakhiruna salat an waqtiha wa yakhrujuna ha an waqtiha fa fa an salat an wa kama dhakarahu al ulama the sheikh said then the 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 soul of the salat the heart of the salat is this humility and this fearfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but those people they do not have this humility in their prayer and they forget they're forgetful of it and they're like unaware of their prayer they don't pray during the, the the time of the prayer and they rather they even delay their prayer from its time even so much until it leaves uh till the the the, the prayer time is over and then they want to pray and so they forgot their prayer in its various ways that the ulama have mentioned in which a person could forget the prayer so these how many of us know people may allah forgive us of them throughout their experience in Islam who say yes I pray but I pray you know I pray because I'm busy with my job I'm busy with this I'm busy with that I pray all of my prayers I combine them at the end of the day so this is the case with some of those people they directly fall under their ayat under this ayat because they've done something غير مشروع this is a bid'ah ala aqal and this could be even uh, something that can cause them to leave the fold of Islam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best because they haven't even prayed and they've made this a regular habit where they're not even, even praying during the time of the prayer at all and they're combining their prayer. So is this prayer accepted? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Ahabatifillah. So these, this is a, a strict warning to be careful about how you complete your prayer. Uh, as, as Imam Fozan says, وَكَذَلِكَ هُمْ سَاؤُونَ عَنْ إِتْمَامِهَا وَإِتْيَانْ بِشُرُوتِهَا وَأَرْكَانِهَا وَوَاجِبَاتِهَا فَسَّحُوا عَنْ صَلَاةِ يَشْتَمَلْ أَوْ يَشْمَلْ كُلُّ هَذِهِ الْعُنْوَانِ So being neglectful of your prayer, it includes all of these things regarding uh, being lazy with regards to completing the prayer, l lazy with regards to the co the conditions for prayer, like tahara and stuff. Maybe they're careless in their how they wash for prayer. They're careless in trying to find the direction of the qibla. They're careless in, in all these various shurut of salat. Or in their clothing. This is another thing we need to make tenbi of. That some people, they wear uh, things that it's not just only impermissible to to try to pray in those garments, but it's impermissible to wear outside Aslan. You know, wearing the skinny jeans, wearing things that have holes in them. You know, so we have to remind our brothers and sisters in Islam about these issues of prayer. And the arkan and the wajibat of salat. So they're careless. This this is included in all of that. So this person that they don't pray properly. They don't have the humbleness and humility in their heart. And it's a very dangerous characteristic to possess. Then the Shaykh men mentions He mentions the Hadith Hadith uh, عن أنس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول تلك الصلاة المنافق يجلس يركب الشمس حتى إذا كانت بين قرني الشيطان قام فنقرها أربعا لا يذكر الله فيها إلا قليل so he mentions the hadith of Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala in the, uh, 
where he heard the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mention about the, the prayer of the Munafiq and that this person sits in the sun even until the uh, to the horns of the shaitan uh, has arisen or at this time and they one of the characteristics of them is they do not remember Allah except Khalil. And this, this is the shahid here. This is a very serious matter that we have to remind ourselves. And I, I try to remind myself often because I also look at how weak my practice is. So we have to look and analyze ourselves. Listen to this, what the Prophet ﷺ said. لا يذكر الله فيها إلا قليلة. This is the munafiq, the hypocrite does not remember Allah except Khalil, except a little bit. Meaning that the hypocrite remembers Allah, but it's only a little. So even the hypocrite remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look at yourself. Look how weak we are. We remember Allah very little. We often remember songs we used to uh, hear in Jahiliya, or some of us still listen to music and what have you. We're always singing songs. We're remembering parts of movies. We remember this comedian. We remember this. We remember this. But how much do we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How often do we remember Allah? Khalil. Just like who? Like the munafiqeen. وَعِيَادُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ Then he mentioned the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri رضي الله تعالى عنه عن أبي سعيد al-Khudri رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن أسوأ ناس سركة الذي يسرق صلاة صلاته قالوا يا رسول الله وكيف يسرقها قال لا يتم ركوعها ولا سجودها uh, أبي سعيد الخضري رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that, uh, that the message of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the most wicked of the people or the wicked kind of thievery that the people do is the one who steals from his prayer. And then the companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, with their harsh على طالب العلم, their, 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 their encouragement to seek knowledge. They wanted to know. They wanted to know so they could practice. That's the difference between us and them. We want to know because we want to show off. We want to show we have a, a, a knowledge. We study with the ulama. We have this. We have this tizkia. We study with this one. See my shahada. See my certificate. See my master's degree. See my this. You know, this is this is our status. Wallah and many of us, not all of us, alhamdulillah, there are those people who seek knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but many of us get caught up with the other things of the dunya, wallah and in our ibadah. So the, uh, the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, but they wanted to know, قَالَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَكَيْفَ يَسْرُكَهَا How, O Messenger of Allah, how do they steal from the prayer? He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, لَا يُتِمُّ رُكُوعَهَا وَلَا سُجُودَهَا That they don't complete their ruku' nor their sujood. And if we had the camera ready, I would illustrate, and we've all seen people. Some people have seen, the, sometimes you see the most extreme Ways in which people don't even complete their record. They don't even go, they don't sit, they don't stop. It's just one movement. And they're just like, you know, it's like, I don't know, a, a, a very fluid yoga pose. Or even more extreme than that, subhanAllah, I saw some Muslims in Indonesia. It was a video, I think it was on Jazeera or something. And they showed, they were praying, and I don't know who these people were. And it was during Ramadan, it was their tarawih. It was so amazingly quick. Everything was one motion. And I, I think they were talking about that. I mean, it was literally, I can't describe it how, you know, if you were break dancing or something, that would be probably illustrating more, uh, you know, detail in movement than it was in these people's prayer. Their prayer was one movement. And matter of fact, I don't, I'm not sure if they were even reading Fatiha or, or anything, so they couldn't have possibly, you can't even call it a prayer. It wasn't even a Salat. They, they, but they, they considered themselves praying. Allah understand. 
So this is a very dangerous thing, and this is some of the characteristics of the Munafiqeen. And we'll continue on in our next uh, darshan. It'll be the last one of the Surah bi Allah, describing the final characteristics, but it's actually fairly long what the Sheikh has to say, and we'll try to be concise. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.